Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about conditional statements and if-then statements. Last time, we have uploaded a video about this topic and pwede nyo siya makita rito. mag siya dyan. So, let's talk about conditional statements. Pero ang pinaka-focus natin ngayon is to discuss learning task number 2 on how to change the statement to an if-then and conditional statements. And then right after that, we will identify the hypothesis and conclusion. So before we start, kung bago ka na sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. Now we have here the learning task number two in which we are given the given direction. Change the statements to an if-then or conditional statement. Then right after that, we will try to identify which is your hypothesis or which part of the statement is your conclusion. So, ang first task natin, given these examples, ay gawin mo natin siyang if-then form. So, for example number one, you pass grade 8, you will be in grade 9 next school year. So, what is the if-then form of this statement? Basically, Lagyan mo lang siya ng if sa kanong word then as long as okay yung grammar mo, for me, okay na yan. So this one is, if you pass grade 8, then you will be in Grade 9, next school year. So, right after natin gawin yung kanyang if-then form, if you pass grade 8, then you will be in grade 9, next school year. So, though ginagawa natin yung learning task number 2, I am requesting sana na intindihan nyo kung paano siya ginagawa. Hindi lang basta kukopyahin kung ano man yung gusto nyo gawin dito. So, right after that, we need to identify your hypothesis. For the hypothesis, di ba sabi sa ating discussion, yung hypothesis natin is right after the word if. Therefore, this is your hypothesis. You pass grade 8. Grade 8. And now, for the conclusion, sabi natin, Yung conclusion natin is the statement or the part of statement right after the word then. Ibig sabihin, this is your conclusion. You will be in grade 9 next school year. So... I hope na sa first example pa lang natin, you already know how to convert a statement into an if-then form at alam mo na rin kung paano mag-identify ng hypothesis and conclusion. Now, let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, we are given the statement, an equilateral triangle is equilateral. Again, an equilateral triangle is equiangular. So, this one, ang kanyang equivalent statement or if-then form is ito. If a triangle is equilateral, then it is Equiangular. Ngayon, right after that, kunin natin yung kanyang hypothesis. The hypothesis is this one. A triangle is equilateral. Uh, 
Ang kanya namang conclusion is right after the word then, it is equiangular. Yeah. So we're done with item number one and item number two. That's now for item number three, all acute angles measures less than 90 degrees. So ito yung ating statement. Ang kanyang equivalent form is simply if the angles are acute angles or are acute angles then the measure is less than 90 degrees then the measure is less than 90 degrees so yung konsepto kasi ng acute angles the by measurement nila is between 0 and 90 degrees now let's identify the hypothesis this time the hypothesis is this one the angles are acute angles the angles are acute angles Tapos yung ating conclusion, the measure is less than 90 degrees. The measure is less than 90 degrees. Yun. Ang konsepto kasi ng, if, ng hypothesis sa conclusion, yung hypothesis, siya yung given condition while the conclusion is the outcome or the output of the hypothesis or your condition. So, yun sagot natin for item number three. For item number four, we have circles with the same centers are concentric circles. Medyo mahirap itong statement nito for us kasi grade 8 pa lang naman kayo. But we will try to convert this into if-then form. The converted in the equivalent if-then form of this statement is simply if circles have the same center then Conclusion tayo, then they are concentric. Again, natin dito para mas malinaw. Then they are concentric. Again. So, identify natin yung hypothesis sa conclusion. Ito. Circles have the same center. Circles have the same center. Ito yung conclusion, hypothesis natin. And for the conclusion, ito siya. They are concentric. Since yung ating circle, meron silang same center. Ang tawag dun ay, they are concentric. They are Okay. And for the last part, sa last part na tayo, the freezing point of temperature in degree Celsius is zero. So, ang kanyang if-then form, if the temperature if temperature is in degree Celsius, is in degree tapos yung celsius natin dapat na siya capital letter celsius then the freezing point is zero freezing point 
point is 0. Ayan yung kanyang if-then form. Now, para ma-identify yung hypothesis again, right after the word if, the temperature is in degrees Celsius. The temperature Celsius, capital letter. Tapos yung kanyang conclusion, the freezing point is zero. The freezing point. Is zero. So, yan, nagawa na natin yung first five examples or yung ating learning task number two. I hope na kayo natuto, hindi lang basta kinokopya, sana ay tinatry nyo rin intindihin paano ginagawa yung pag-change ng if-then form at yung pag-identify ng hypothesis sa conclusion. Now, if you're new to my channel, again, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!